Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. And today I have something maybe exciting, but definitely terrifying sounding. <laughs> um, I was approached by a seller on Amazon. Uh, you know, if you're on Instagram, you probably get these all the time, but you know, I refuse to do the ones where like, pay now and we'll refund you or anything like that. I don't fall for that kind of stuff. But they wanted to send me this for free for review. I've been paid to do this. This is not sponsored or anything like this, but I was given this for free. What is this? This, if you look at what it's listed at on, uh, on Amazon, it says eyelash stapler, which is freaking horrifying. Just the idea of an eyelash stapler. And um, they really shouldn't market it that way because just looking at it and reading the instructions, it is not a stapler. <laughs> um, it looks like this on one side, this on the other. This one looks a little nicer to read. Um, but apparently, just kind of reading the instructions, there are little pieces of eyelash in here that have like, you know, three eyelashes or something in it and um you spin this little thing and it brings them out so it holds it on and you can apply it like this i have never used anything like this this could be the worst thing ever or this could be the best thing ever i have no idea but we're gonna try it um i'm looking around for the instructions, which I had. <laughs> okay. So what it says is for your first time, fl uh, flashes is what they call them. Flashes need to be primed. So roll forward a few times until lashes begin to appear. Once the lashes appear and you are ready to apply, make sure the red line is near the bottom of the window, which I'm assuming is this. So let's see. I hope their idea forward is my idea forward. Okay, I see a red line approaching. Okay, there is a red line there. But so far I see no lashes. Okay, you will start seeing countdown numbers when you get to the last 10 lashes, okay. All right, so number two, when the lash is exposed halfway, press the top button to click close and hold the lash in place. So that would be this little part here when it comes out here. So let's keep going until I actually see lashes though, because I see no lashes. No lashes. I see red lines coming and going. You have yet to see a lash. Aha! Lashes finally started to come out. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Is that halfway? I guess that's halfway. Depending on where I look, the little red line, I don't know if you can see it, is there. Okay, so I press this down. That doesn't seem like it's quite there. Let's try one more pump. That looks a little better. Okay, if you can see there, they're just sticking out. <clears throat> okay, brush a thin layer of lash adhesive evenly on the end of the lash buds, taking care to avoid putting glue on the applicator. Blow gently, wait 20 to 30 seconds for adhesive to get tacky. Caution. Apply adhesive only to false lashes. Do not brush directly onto your lash line. Okay, so I'm just using, I don't want to use that stuff. I'm going to use my Budex Viscous. I'm sure I, I, I never know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to use that. I'm brushing. Such a 
little amount. I can't. I've never used lashes in like just these little three bud things. So this is also a, a learning experience for me. Okay, so while I'm waiting on that, let's read step number four. Apply lashes by gently touching. Apply lashes by gently touching the ends of the lash to your lash line. Pro Thermidor tip. To get a perfect placement, stretch the upper eyelid by gently pulling taut at the outer corner. Hold the false, la false lash in place with flashes for three to five seconds. Okay, I don't know if I have enough hands to do all that, but... Um, and then when I'm done, I'm supposed to press the release button. can't really see if I've got it there. Oh, except I moved my eyeball to look at the camera. That might not work. That did not work. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get it to work. And this time, hopefully not move. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Does anybody else remember that from Sesame Street when you were a kid? Is it just me? I don't know, has that been 30 seconds? I'm going to try it out here on the outer edge. I'm not looking at you. Mm, did not come off at all. All right. How far out do these? Okay. Let's see. I'll put them out a lot farther and see if that works. By out a lot farther, I mean I put push the little dial up so these are out a lot farther. You have a lot of glue on these guys. Nope. Not even remotely. If I did it with my finger, it worked, but I don't think that's the point of this whole thing. All right, let's try another one. Just see. And I'm probably pushing them way farther out than they're supposed to be, but... feel like I could have had, I not feel, I knew I could have had a whole pair of lashes already on by now. Okay. I'm feeling this is kind of ridiculous. Tried anything like this? I'm almost thinking stapling it on would have been better. All right. Now I don't know. I'm gonna wait much more than three to five seconds. Nope, still there. All right, this obviously yeah, I can, just trying to pull them out, I feel like they're getting, you know, they're almost stuck in there. And that's, there's no way 
this small little surface area is going to hold that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it quits for today on this. This also feels like a, a waste. I, you know, my lash, my false lashes, I can use several, you know, times over and you can't with these, but I'm going to watch a couple of their videos to see if that helps. I mean, I feel like I'm doing what it says in the instructions. I should be able to get this, but I'm not. So let's, you know, let's try a take two of this uh, probably tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. I'll see you then. Okay, guys, it's actually been like a couple of weeks <laughs> since I tried this, this Thermador Flashes just because I was not in the mood to try it again. Um, I am going to try it again. I have a thought with maybe one of the things I was doing wrong. So let's... My thought was that after I applied it, you know, I've got this thing locked in here. After I put them on, I should probably unlock it and then push the dial up a little more so that it, see if it comes out of its own more I, I don't know if it will I really don't so we'll see this just could be another horrible failure but I'm you know gonna give it another try I guess I should show you that I am putting my lash glue here this is a lash glue that I use all the time. Okay. Let's see if I have the dexterity to do this. All right, wait, I gotta get my little mirror out. See, I see. Don't feel. Maybe if I. Okay, this is going to be awkward camera wise. But I just can't do it while holding the mirror. Because I need two hands for that. Okay. So I have this on here. Doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work. Okay. Let's switch to a different eye glue just to make sure. I mean, okay, I'm getting a whole new, pumping it up with a whole new set of lashes. This is the Eyler Lash Glue. See if this makes any difference. Letting it dry. Letting it dry. Two, three, four, five. See, every time I press that, it makes my eyes blink. Oh, did it stay on though? I have horrible placement. Oh, and then when I did that, it came off. Er, okay. Let's just try, let's try a little experiment. Okay. 
pull this up. See the little things there. I've pressed it down. I've locked it into place. My cat is scratching on the wander basket. I'm going to put the glue on. I just see your little paws. All right, eye glue is on there as well as a little hair. Give it a few moments. Give it a few moments. Hypnotically look at the cat right there. <laughs> About as long as I would give other lashes. Okay, put it on my hand. One, two, three, four, five. See, it pulls up like that. Now let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Click and release. I don't know if you can see, but I, you know, cause I could see it from here. It was even doing that. It was pulling on those edges. <sighs> no, this is a dud for me. I mean, the little lashes itself themselves look nice. I even wonder they're probably too big for, yeah, they're way too big for right underneath. You know, if you just needed a few to, now, add in there if you could do that, but in all the time that it took just to get, even if I, okay, let's put it this way. Even if I could get this to work right, you know, to get lashes, even, you know, even if I didn't want to do all the way across, I would still need at least two or three of these on each eye. I could have both sets done so much quicker with a full set of lashes without this little gizmo with just my fingers or tweezers or however I wanted to do it. So that's, it's, it's a waste of time for me. Sorry, I didn't like it. I know they gave it to me for free, but that'll tip if that tells you anything. Just because I get it for free and somebody sends it to me does not mean I'm going to tell you to go out and buy it. So. All right, that one's a dud for me. Um, if I get something else like this, I'll let you know. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.